Well, I think I've always been a composer. I just never really knew it. I, I remember as far back as being a, a very young, young boy and having a, a guitar around the house that had these multicolored strings, you know, one, one orange one and one yellow one, one red one. And I would, you know, make up things on it and, and try and write out the music with, with colored, color-coded, you know, scores to record what I had done. I, I, at the point I didn't know that was composition, but when I look back on it, it absolutely was. You know, when you're engaged in that project, it, it's, you, you're, 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 your mind is, uh, is an incredible thing. And it works sometimes at the, at, the, at the forefront, the conscious level. Other times it works on a much deeper level that we don't recognize or maybe not even understand. Inspiration comes from anywhere and everywhere. It's, it's all around us all the time. That when you don't see it, it seems invisible and, and totally intangible. And when you're flush and rich with it, you, you wonder how come everybody else can't see it. Arriving here as a, in my mind, as a, basically a guitarist who, who mostly played jazz and rock, to you know, leaving leaving here two years later to go do a master's in contemporary classical composition at U of T is, is a dramatic transformation. It's a really unique thing to to hear your music played when you're in the audience. When it happens, it's it's a pretty unique unique feeling. A little bit of nervousness maybe, but it's it's, it's there's also a, a joy in seeing you know what you've built come come to life in the way that it was supposed to. I'm very lucky to do what I do because with composition and teaching it reinforces itself in this wonderful circle and that and that's that makes me shine.